Hi there, Robin here from Expert On. Today's question of the day is going to be on the PPHP 1599WU. Could also be a 0.5, they're both the same. And it has to do with, can I take a party speaker and connect it to a subwoofer, which is what we have down here. And the answer is yes. And we're gonna show the different ways it can happen. It doesn't just have to be this speaker. It could be an Ion, it could be a Rockville, it could be of course a Pile. Uh, any brand out there that has the capability like Gemini to be a party speaker, that means Bluetooth, karaoke functions, rechargeable battery, all that kind of stuff, and has some line outs on the back of it. So we're gonna see that there could be RCA, there could be XLR or quarter inch. And at the same time, the subwoofer can have the same plugs on the back of it. It could be XLR, RCA, or quarter inch, and or a combination of both. As long as we have the right adapters, this is going to work no problem. So let's take a look at the back of the speaker, see how this one happens to be set up, and then we'll look at the subwoofer we have here. Now on this particular speaker, we've got line in, which are RCAs, and our line out is designated right beside it. It says line out, and it's also RCA. That's important to note, because that tells me what kind of cables I'm gonna need. Now I have to look at the subwoofer, either I purchased or I already have, and see what I'm gonna need there. So let's take a look at that. So this is the back of the subwoofer that we're gonna be using today. It's from Blast King. It happens to be the BPS-15-2. What it has is it has quarter inch line inputs, no combo jacks. So basically it doesn't have the ability to take both quarter inch or XLRs through the same socket. Or So what we wanna use here for this speaker, because it's RCA on the speakers, we're gonna get an XLR to RCA adapter. Now this could have been one solid adapter. We'll have links down below for that, which is normally how it's found. But here we happen to have a cable that has been modified to make the proper connection. So we're gonna to wanna to have two of those. So this way we can get the full sound out of both channels. So we'll plug one in there. We'll plug the second one in beside it. These are the inputs. We're now gonna be able to take our RCA cable, which you're gonna need. So of course we'll put links down below for that too. We'll attach that. Any RCA will do. If you happen to have an older RCA at home that has uh, three wires to it instead of just two, and one of them is for like, you know, an old VCR video connection, that sort of thing, you can use that cable. And then we're gonna take the other end of these RCAs, which are right here, and we're gonna bring that up to the back of the speaker. So let's go back to the speaker. So once again, we're gonna be looking for the line out, which is designated right here. We're gonna take those RCA cables we had right here and we're gonna match that up. We're gonna plug one into the left side and we're gonna plug one into the right side. And we have done it. Now remember the line out options on these particular units are usually governed by the actual knobs. So depending on how loud we turn up and down this gain level for each individual microphone or line input, that sort of thing. This is gonna determine what comes out of here. This master volume at the very end, this normally determines just the speaker output in the front of this unit. So we're gonna to have to adjust our line levels, then turn up our subwoofer and then turn up our speaker. That's how we're gonna do it. Once we do that, if we're only using music, then you'll have just one line option or maybe it's just gonna be our Bluetooth option on top for volume control. If you use these options for volume control, you're gonna be able to control the sub and the main speaker. If you've decided you have a lot of mixing going on, like microphones, all that kind of stuff, then you're definitely gonna to wanna to just turn up the volume on the speaker and then turn up the volume on the subwoofer separately. So let's have a look at another speaker and see what's going on there. So here we are, we've got a 10 inch and a 12 inch, which are part of the same family of speakers, but with slightly different outputs on the back. This one is the PPHP 1037UB, which only offers a quarter inch. So if you are looking for a 10 inch and you're looking for about the best you can buy in a party speaker, this is gonna be it. But this is a good reason why you'd wanna buy a subwoofer. You want that extra bass because you only have a 10 inch. Quarter inch only output, but our subwoofer had an XLR, that was a three pin. So we would use a cable like this. So here we're gonna have an unbalanced quarter inch, which I highly recommend because a lot of speakers are not balanced output. And we have a three pin XLR. This has been manufactured to work properly. So we would just plug this guy into here and then that'll allow us a spot on the back of the subwoofer. Remember, again, the line levels are gonna control the overall levels of the output where the master volume or main volume right here is gonna control the volume on the speaker. 
So we're going to want to have a combination of both. Remember, this is going to drive up not just the volume here, but the volume coming out of the quarter inch. Now over to the next speaker, which is the PPHP 1237UB. Again, really nice 12 inch party speaker. If you're looking just for an AC system, this is another one well worth recommending. This one has both quarter inch and XLR because there's room on this amp plate to put both. So they do put both. So we can use that same quarter inch cable we had before, or we get lucky. And we basically can now use a standard XLR. Again, once we hook this up, the line levels are what's going to control the output here. And then we're going to be able to use the master volume to control the actual output to the speaker here. So a combination of this plus the subwoofer output, that's where we're going to get all our sound. And that's basically about it. Now your subwoofers could have RCA plugs on them or they could have quarter inch, but you're going to have to accommodate which one works best for you. It's all about getting the right adapters and then you'll be all set. There you go. So here we are right back to where we started and we're going to do a sound test because everybody wants to hear what it sounds like, of course, because, you know, that's why you watch the video. So again, we've got the 15 inch with a 15 inch subwoofer. And if you're going to buy two parts and you just need one speaker, this is a great way to really not just make it louder, but to make it bassier. Uh, a lot of people think they can get a lot more volume out of their tops, which they can because they're not cranking up the bass on the actual speaker, which will never do the same job as a subwoofer. So here in the video, we'll do a little bit of a sound test on it. That'll be the end of the video. And what you're going to hear is basically me turning up and down the volume on the actual main speaker output on the front and then doing the same thing with the subwoofer so you can hear the difference. Now, because everybody asks, I am using an MPM 3500R, which is a ribbon microphone from Marantz Professional. And I'm going to be turning my lapel off because everybody asked me, did you turn your lapel off? And I'm going to say, yes, I do. That's going to be the whole video for today. So is it better to buy a combination? Absolutely can you. Of course you can. We've done it here today. Uh, just make sure you get the wires right. So here's the sound check. Catch me howling at the moon.